Today I will be attempting to review the last 10 books I've read in under 4 minutes. Only a quick intro. Mm -hmm. In reverse chronological order of when I read them, we have The Magicians by Lev Grossman. This book is like a really grown up, dark, evil Harry Potter. It's basically set at Hogwarts, but it takes a whole seven years just to get through this book. And it gets real. Really real. Contains the phrase, drunk magic bear. It's a good read. Frankenstein! I don't have the book to show you, but Frankenstein! This book is insanely dense, oh my god. There are so many words and it takes so long for them to travel because they're going by boat. It's like Lord of the Rings, oh my god, it goes forever. There is so little narrative progression and so much deep reflection that I actually took a break midway through this to read Paper Towns! One of John Green's best in my opinion. It had mystery, intrigue, and I found myself figuring things out only a teeny fraction before the main character, which is good. Also, it's young adult fiction, so it was so much easier to read than Frankenstein, which I did eventually come back to and finish. Unlike in Paper Towns, I did not empathize with the main character Frankenstein at all. He just kept making these illogical decisions that made everything worse when it was so simple to make everything better. I did enjoy the themes and issues raised by Frankenstein. I think it's a really important text, but the book is just so slow. Pride and Prejudice and Zombies! Oh, my god, hilarious. I'm a big fan of the original and knowing where the plot was going and waiting to see how they were gonna adapt it to a zombie situation was a real lark. The juxtaposition of ladylike sensibilities and the importance of being a great warrior and killing all the zombies was excellently done. Genius. Next up, one of our Thursdays is missing. The Thursday next series, Jasper Ford. This is the latest book in the Thursday Next series and I did not enjoy it as much as the other books. It is told from the perspective of a fictional fictional character Thursday Next, not the fictional character Thursday Next, and so the character actually has a lot less depth than you used to and the narrative just doesn't have the same voice. I think this book is a lot less intriguing because it's not the same character. An abundance of Catherines. You'll notice that there's a lot of John Green in here because I only recently discovered John Green and that's really exciting for me. I really liked this book but not in the emotional way that I've liked some of John's other books. <laughs> Excuse me. I liked the quirky maths, the anagrams, the weird failed road trip. I liked the absurd image of tampon strings flying through the air. This book seemed to celebrate nerdiness a little more than John's other books without forcing it and I really liked that. Back to Thursday next, the first among sequels. This is the one before the one I just talked to you about because I'm going in reverse chronological order. I really enjoyed this book. Jasper Ford is brilliant. He's about as close as I will ever come to replacing the irreplaceable Douglas Adams. There was a moment in this book, and if you've read it, you'll know what I'm talking about, and my heart just dropped through the floor, and it was, oh my god, it was a life-changing moment. Looking for Alaska! Another John Green! Nerdfighters, please don't hate me. I was really bored by this book. I didn't empathize with the main character at all. I think in some ways I was judging John Green really unfairly because the book that I read before this was The Fault in Our Stars! I've already sort of reviewed this book in song form, Click the Basketball. I'm yet to meet a girl who's read this book and hasn't fallen in love with Augustus Waters, or a guy for that matter. The word okay will never mean the same thing to me ever again. John Green is awesome. Guess what I'm reading at the moment? Love? Hate? Troll? Comment and tell me what you're reading at the moment and what I should read next. Other than Fahrenheit 451.